Welcome class 7. This is the continuation video of the first chapter of the book ICC Understanding Computer Studies class 7 by Vijay Kumar Pandey and Dilip Kumar Dev. And the publishing house is RV Publishing House. In this video we will start from the topic types of software. Let's start. Now what are the different types of softwares? Or uh, what are the main classifications of computer softwares? So the answer is there are mainly two types of computer softwares. One is system software and the other one is application software. Now what is system software? System softwares are those softwares that are designed uh, to control the operation of the computer system. Okay, uh, or you can say that it works as a middleman between hardware and user. And what is application software? Application softwares are those softwares that are designed to perform some specific task like creating documents, presentations, etc. This is the overall idea about system software and application software. Now look at the book. The first topic, system software. System software is also known as system package. It is a set of one or more programs designed to control the operation of the computer system. It is a software that controls the overall operation of the computer system. Now, the next line, these programs do not solve specific problem but provide a platform to assist in the use of computer system by performing specific tasks. Means, it, uh, these programs do not solve any specific task but it, it creates a platform on which application software can work, okay? Now, in general, system software supports the running of other software and communicate with the peripheral devices. The other function of system software is it also helps to communicate with the peripheral devices, okay? The a common example of system software is uh, operating system. Now, the application software. An application software or applications is a set of one or more programs designed to control, uh, uh, designed to carry out specific tasks such as creating documents, presentations, etc. So, what does it say? That application software are some soft, are some program or um, are some set of instructions that can perform a specific task or that are designed to perform some specific task. Next, uh, it allows the computer to perform useful tasks beyond the running of the system itself. The function of application software is to perform some specific task and the function of system software is to control the operation of the computer system. Now the next page, an application software performs only those tasks for which it is designed. Basically, the application software are provided to serve the purpose of the user. So, uh, what does it say? That application software is a software that performs some specific task for which it is designed. Okay. Now, here is one example. A program written by the scientist to solve a particular research problem is an application software. An application software includes enterprise software, 
accounting software, office package, graphic software, and media players. All these are examples of application software. Now the next topic, parts of hardware. Hardware is the term given to the machinery, various components and equipments that are essentially needed for the system. It can be an external or internal. However, these components can be physically handled. This means that hardwares are those components that we can feel and we can touch. It can be external or internal. Or uh, we can say that hardwares are the physical components of the computer system. Okay. Now the first hardware part discussed here is CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is the main component of the computer system that is integrated with the microprocessor and the memory unit means the main components of CPU are microprocessor and memory unit. The microprocessor consists of arithmetic logic unit and control unit. Microprocessors are further divided into uh, two part uh, ALU that is arithmetic logic unit and control unit CU which regulates the function of various devices in the computer system. This control unit uh, controls the overall functioning of the computer system. Next, the motherboard is an integral part of the CPU which contains the microprocessor and the memory unit. Now, um, we can say that uh, motherboard is the combination of microprocessor and memory unit. A CPU includes three parts, three main parts, arithmetic logic unit, control unit and memory unit that regulate the working of the entire system. I have already said this sentence that uh, uh, CPU has three main parts. Number one, arithmetic logic unit, number two, control unit and number three, memory unit. Next, here is a block diagram of computer system. If we uh, notice this diagram carefully, then we can clearly understand some facts. Number one, CPU has three main parts, ALU, primary memory and control unit. Next, input device receives uh, input and store it in the primary memory. After processing, CPU gives the result through output device. Next, during processing, a secondary memory interacts with primary memory, ALU interacts with primary memory and the last one is by seeing this dotted control line that control unit controls all the parts of this computer system okay now the next topic in a human body the brain takes all the major decision to enable the body to perform various activities in the same way all major decisions in the computer system are taken by the CPU. Thus, it is called the brain of the computer. As in the human body, our brain takes all the decisions and controls our body. Similarly, in computer system, CPU controls all the uh, components of the computer system and it also takes all the decisions. So, we can say that CPU is the brain of the computer. Next, 
The central processing unit mainly consists of three components. The first component is arithmetic and logic unit. The computer performs all arithmetical and logical operations through this unit. An arithmetical operation includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and logical operations. This means that this part is used to perform all types of operation like uh, arithmetical operation or logical operation or relational operation also. Okay. Now what do you mean by arithmetical operation? Arithmetical operations includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. Next, uh, what do you mean by logical operation? Logical op operation means AND, OR and NOT operations. Okay. Now, control unit. The control unit controls each and every part of the computer system along with peripherals. It receives data and instruction from the memory and sends the command to the various part of the computer system. This means that control unit controls all the other peripheral devices, okay, including CPU. It uh, receives the instruction from the memory and then sends it to the various part of the computer system. Now the third part is memory unit. The data and instructions which are entered into the computer system through input unit have to be stored inside the computer uh, before the actual processing starts. Uh, this means that uh, before processing we have to store the inputted data inside the computer system. It is primary memory unit which is designed to cater to all these needs. Now where, where we store this data? We store this data in the primary memory. Okay. It provides space for storing data, instructions, intermediate results and final results. It means that primary memory is the memory that provides space for all this purpose like storing data, instructions, intermediate results, final results, etc. The main functioning of CPU are it stores data and instruction in memory which can be accessed for processing. Next, it processes data to give meaningful results, obviously that. And the function of computer is that that it takes data as input and uh, after processing it gives the meaningful result. Next, it controls each and every operation of the computer including the operations of all its peripherals. Means, uh, through control unit it controls all the parts of the uh, of the computer system okay now uh, the knowledge corner a byte is the smallest unit of storage which represent a character in the computer whereas one bit is an elementary unit of memory now what does it means it means that Byte is the smallest unit of storage uh, which represent a character means character A or B or 1 or 0 or 9 ok but bit is the elementary unit elementary storage unit of the computer uh, memory ok next the definition bit a bit means binary digit that is represent by either 0 or 1. 
which is the elementary unit of the memory system which just represent uh, represented by uh, either 0 or 1. Now neighbor, the group of 4 bit is called 1 neighbor and a group of 8 bit is called a byte. Okay. Now uh, that's all in this video. In the next video we will start from computer memory. Bye.